Meet Emmy Kim. I am Korean, Japanese, Chinese, and Hawaiian. She's 11 years old. It feels like I'm living in a dream almost. On a mission to help kids feel seen. I love seeing diverse books everywhere because I can relate to the main character a lot more and because we share probably more similar experiences knowing that we're of the same ethnicity. One page to a bathroom here at a time. I was looking for a book that was of my culture and I didn't see any of it, so I decided that maybe other schools have this problem, so I decided to raise money through a lemonade stand to buy diverse books for schools. In two years since she started raising money for these stories, Emmy has donated over 300 books featuring characters of color. Your eyes are filled with so many stories I can fall inside them and swim until time stops. Or people with disabilities. All people in these books are going to help people and kids learn about other cultures that are maybe theirs that they didn't know or just others. Like books are a very accessible way to meet new people like without actually meeting them and it's also going to help them build empathy for others. Schools like Majestic Elementary in West Jordan have embraced what Emmy is doing. Emmy donated the original copies as you know and they have become the most popular books in my library. We've had to buy two extra copies of each one. Marking her books with a little heart. There's an immediate peak of interest when you see yourself in literature. And I think where we're teaching kids to read, it's so important for them to also feel engaged and also feel interested in what they're reading. So one thing the school does is host any time where kids come in by grade level and get to read the books that Emmy donated. For kids of color or those who have felt underrepresented in the past, seeing themselves in books like these makes a world of a difference. Emmy is changing lives. Yeah, we don't really see these a lot, so it's nice to see them now. Maybe the, a new kid from a different ethnicity, maybe they'll walk into this library and see themselves on the shelves or see other people. In West Jordan, I am Maitri Gubi, Fox 13 News, Utah.